guys good morning and welcome back to another vlog if you guys are new here my name is katie it is currently about 7 30 a.m today is monday and last night i went out for some drinks and dinner with some of my girlfriends and it was so much fun um, but i did go to bed kind of late so i'm pretty tired so we're gonna make coffee here in a second um, but today is just gonna be like a productive day in my life slash work day in my life vlog i have a lot to get done today so i thought it'd be fun to take you guys along if you guys are new here feel free to subscribe down below and join my family i make all types of lifestyle like favorites videos amazon hauls what i eat in a day videos lots of fun content like that so i would love to have you guys subscribe and join my family but let's go make some coffee so i can actually think and function <laughs> If anyone wanted to know what my favorite like Nespresso pods are that I'd show you guys real quick, I love the Dolce one. It's a double shot. And then I always stock up on the little decaf shots so I can have some in the afternoon, but not like, you know, get that much caffeine in. I also love this one. It's like a big cup of coffee. And then I also love this one, which is a one shot. It's a Voltesso. So anyways, those are my little favorites today. I'm going with the Dolce. If you guys are looking for a good espresso machine, I 1000% recommend this one. I've tried so many of them. I've tried like the little Nespresso's and this is the only one that I feel like tastes actually really good. Um, it's like my favorite coffee hands down. So much better than Starbucks and everything. And each pod is only like a dollar. So super affordable as well. Um, anyway, so I'll have this link down below if you guys want to check it out. made my coffee i'm also going to take my vitamins i've been trying to be so good about taking them every single day and i feel like i'm so inconsistent unless i do it like first thing in the morning so the vitamins that i currently take i feel like i've talked to you guys about these so many times but the ritual essential for women 18 plus hands down love them this is like my 20th bottle and then for my probiotic i take the ritual symbiotic plus it's a prebiotic probiotic and a postbiotic and i really like them because you just have to take one of them a day and you can take it like anytime during the day and they're all like nice and mint flavored and then i recently started taking these js health hair and energy vitamins and i've been looking for something that had iodine in it because being vegan it's really important to get in your iodine and the ritual multivitamins don't have iodine because most people just get in iodine through animal products um so i needed something that had iodine in it and i found these and they had amazing reviews and i love the brand js health so i have been taking these probably for what maybe like three weeks now i'm almost finished with this bottle and so far i'm loving them i've definitely noticed a big difference so so those are all of the little vitamins that i take if you guys are interested in anything basically anything that i show you guys in my videos i always have linked down below um just so that way you guys don't have to comment and like ask for it so just saves you guys some time um but i'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins okay vitamins are done i'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast i got this amazing granola and i actually found it at target and it has really great ingredients and it's by the brand banner road baking company and it's the kickstart granola that's chocolate and coffee it is so good like the whole thing is almost gone but this stuff tastes amazing when you pair it with like a little yogurt bowl and then some coffee in the morning it's like so good so i'm gonna have that for breakfast to get some like nice carbs in some healthy fats all the good things before a workout while i eat my breakfast i'm gonna go ahead and plan out my day i've showed you guys these before these little notepads they're my favorite i'm obsessed with them um they're so great just organize your day so i'm gonna kind of work on some admin stuff this morning and then i'll check in with you guys right after Okay. 
Okay, this is what my list is currently looking like. My top three are, I need to film this vlog that I'm currently filming. I have a dermatology appointment at two and then I need to work out because I haven't worked out in like over a week and I really feel such a difference like in my mental health and my energy levels whenever I do work out. So I need to do that. And then I need to send over my Laura Mercier reel and my Instagram story. I need to send over my selects for a collab that I'm doing with White Fox. And then I'm gonna put together like a big box of PR stuff for the Tulsa Girls Home. It is a group foster home here in Tulsa that recently opened up. And I brought over a bunch of PR before and the girls loved it. And I feel like a lot of times with super expensive like skincare products in foster homes, you're just not able to get that. And I have way more than I need. And I feel like so much of it, like it just honestly expires before I'm able to get to it and I have buckets and buckets full of it so I'm gonna get a big box together for them so the girls can kind of just grab whatever they want from there um, I need to do some emails I need to reply to YouTube comments I need to reply to Instagram comments I need to post a reel I've been trying to post a reel every single day um, Instagram's algorithm if you're a creator you know it's just wild right now engagements down like it's so annoying and short form video is the way to grow so I'm trying to post something every single day and then I need to probably update some new stuff on my Poshmark. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to that. We'll see. Um, and then I need to package some Amazon returns and then move some of my reels over to TikTok that I haven't posted on there yet. So that is my little to-do list for today. I'm gonna to go ahead and start working on some emails and then edit my Laura Mercier reel and send that over. do a little workout and trying my favorite target sports bra and my amazon leggings that i love um i definitely am running a little bit behind because i got super distracted doing some work stuff and i have to leave for my dermatology appointment in like 40 minutes so i think i'm just gonna do like a quick hit today um probably like something that's like 20 25 minutes and call it a day for working out just so i can get like some quick movement in um and i really love it i feel like my body responds to it so well so i'm just gonna do that i do wish i had a little bit more time to work out because i love walking as well and i've been trying to get like around 10,000 steps in a day which is actually so hard. I didn't think it'd be that hard, um, but that's really all I have time for today. But I feel like at the end of the day, like consistency isn't about like you being at 100%, having like the best workout or, you know, like whatever it may be at the time. But I feel like it's really just about the fact that you're showing up at all, so. Okay, just finished my workout. I didn't have time to shower, so I just threw on this little white linen top over my workout outfit, but I need to go ahead and head out, so I'm there a few minutes early, so I will see you guys as soon as I'm done. Okay, just finished at the dermatologist. It went really well. Um, the dermatologist was super nice. It's just like very thorough and I love that because I feel like sometimes like medical professionals can just be like super fast or they take like one look at you or don't really like listen to what you have to say, everything like that. Um, so she was super nice. Basically, I wanted to go to the dermatologist because when I was younger, I had a lot of body acne and I have a lot of like scarring from that and, and like pigmentation from it. So I wanted to see if there's anything that could kind of like lighten those spots um and kind of like heal some of that scarring because that's something that i've always been just like super insecure about and i just don't really wear like a lot of like tank tops or like stuff like that because of that which is like unnecessary and like i totally could there's nothing wrong with it um it's just like one of those little like insecurity things but she gave me this new prescription topical creams called win levy that i guess was just recently launched and has been working well but she was super nice so i'm hoping that new topical cream kind of helps and then she also gave me um a referral for a medical esthetician that can do like laser treatments chemical peels all that stuff so anyways it went well um, i'm really happy with the appointment it is so freaking hot out here i don't know if you guys can tell my face is already getting like so red what is it it is 108 right now is what my car says this whole week is supposed to be like over 107 and i'm so not here for it you guys i am ready for the crisp fall weather the winter snow i am not a summer person whatsoever like the heat just makes me feel awful and i literally just hate the heat so much like i would love to live somewhere where it doesn't get above like 
80 degrees max like that would honestly be the dream because this whole like 110 degree heat thing and like 60 percent humidity i'm so not here for it and i cannot wait for it to go away anyways i am going to go ahead and head home probably grab some lunch i don't know if i'm gonna make something at home or pick up something but i will see you guys at home okay for lunch i just made some avo toast because i honestly don't really have a lot and i really need to go grocery shopping i'm also completely out of everything but the bagel seasoning so it's basically just plain avo toast with a little salt and pepper but i'm gonna eat this do a little bit more of computer work i need to do some emails and just finish up some admin stuff that i didn't get done this morning so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then i'll check in with you guys a little bit later Okay guys, it's a little bit later. I have just been sitting here editing for like the last couple of hours. I'm actually editing this vlog that I'm filming right now because I'm gonna try to get this up tomorrow because um, I haven't posted in such a long time. I've been off my YouTube game. So that is what I am currently working on right now. I'm trying to learn Final Cut because up until now I've really only used iMovie, which is great, but I feel like it definitely like limits you to like a little bit of what you can do. And Final Cut actually offers like a free trial trial that you can do I think for like 90 days so I'm just doing that and seeing if I like it or not if it's worth it to get it so that's what I'm currently doing but I think I only have like maybe like 20 to 30 minutes left of editing to do I feel like I kind of look like a wet dog, but I just got out of the shower and I'm doing my skincare. I recently got this shower head that I have been absolutely obsessed with. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll probably have seen me talk about it there as well. But it's a shower head that has a filter built into it. So it like filters out like any chlorine, heavy metals, like any stuff that basically is not good for your skin or your hair. And oh my gosh, like I have noticed the biggest difference ever in my hair and my skin like my skin is more hydrated and plump and my hair is just so much softer i randomly started getting like dry scalp which is not something i typically ever like deal with um so i didn't know what it was from i tried switching up my shampoos i tried using like serums for my hair i tried like cutting out like sugar and everything like that and it just wasn't going away and i think it was literally just what was in my water because within like the exact same day that i started using the shower head like my scalp is hydrated i don't have dry scalp like whatsoever and like i said like my hair has been just like so soft and it's just been very like shiny which my hair typically isn't shiny so i've definitely just noticed like so many changes since using it um, so I wanted to mention it to you guys, not sponsored whatsoever. I bought this like 100% with my own money. Um, it is a little pricey. It's around 150 bucks, but it is one of the best on the market. But I personally think all of the benefits are so incredibly worth it. It's been such a game changer. So I'll link it below if you guys are interested in it. But anyways, I feel like that's just like one of those things that makes showering so like nice and luxurious. Like showers are honestly already luxurious as is, but just adding that like little extra thing is incredible. Also, if you guys were interested in like a little updated skincare routine, I did stop using tretinoin because typically like the peeling should only last for like four to six weeks or like up to eight weeks, I believe. And mine was just nonstop. My face was consistently peeling. It was really harsh on my skin, I felt like, and it was a super low like percentage. And my skin's super sensitive, so I feel like it just wasn't like balancing out and kind of like adapting to my skin so the dryness just kind of never stopped and i was really hoping it would because it did make my skin so beautiful and like clear and glowy um but unfortunately like the dryness just never stopped so i feel like it's a little too harsh for my skin so i did some research into some other different like skincare brands and i used polish choice it was their like bha exfoliant i believe and i loved it and i actually saw these products on amazon from polish choice and it's their clear products um, so it's like a three-step system. You can buy it and like I think you can buy the separate ones But I have a cleanser in my shower and it's just a salicylic acid cleanser And then the second step is this two percent salicylic acid toner And then the third step is this two and a half percent benzoyl peroxide daily skin clearing treatment It's just like a very light gel and I have been using this probably for maybe like six weeks now And it's worked so well. I do have a few breakouts right now My voice just cracked <laughs> but I do have a few breakouts right now, but that's because I think I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the car when I was talking about my skin, but I noticed that I break out with gluten like 
I haven't eaten gluten in a while and my skin was super clear and then this past week I had like a bunch of bread and pasta and my skin just broke out like crazy so I feel like there could be like something going on with that but this stuff works so so well and the reviews on Amazon are insane they have such great reviews and so many like amazing transformations again not sponsored whatsoever um, genuinely just love the product and then for my moisturizer I use the Cerave this is their daily moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin and it's like a lightweight and it has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid in it and this one's been really great i don't break out to it at all i feel like sometimes like i break out to moisturizers if they're too heavy and you guys know i used to use the first aid beauty one all the time and then i recently found out that their stuff is no longer or not all their stuff but some of their products mainly the ones that i used were not non-comedogenic anymore so they clog your pores which sucks because i love that brand um, so I basically had to kind of like revamp my entire skincare routine. For my eyes, I have been using, I actually got this in a PR package. Um, so this one was gifted to me, but this one's a Clarins Double Eye Serum. And I've really been liking this one as well. So this is just what I use for my eyes. Anyways, in case anyone wanted a updated skincare routine, because I feel like my skin has genuinely just improved so much. Like it's finally like hydrated and it's clear and it's glowy and i think really like my new skincare products and that shower head are so to thank for that because it just works so well i think i might just let my hair air dry or like sleep on it damp honestly um because i kind of don't want to have to like blow it out right now and i'm also getting my hair done in the morning which i'm going to try to vlog tomorrow because i know you guys always ask like what i get done for my hair so i'll try to take you guys along with that but it is 11:07 right now i'm gonna go ahead and hop in bed these are my little bedtime essentials i have been so consistent doing my five minute journal every single morning and night lately and i really have been loving it i feel like this is just always like such a good staple to have and then i've been trying to be better about like staying off my phone for a while before i go to sleep because i notice i'll get caught in like the tiktok trap and i'll be just like scrolling for way longer than i thought i was and then it's like super late at night so i've been trying just to like not be on my phone right before i go to bed for at least like you know 30 minutes or an hour so i've been reading this book it's so great i know i've talked about it so many times it's just such a good like thought-provoking book that really it's like it's like therapy in a book almost so i really love this one and then i've been loving these equilibria cbd gummies lately switch these out for the other product that i was taking that had melatonin in it because i think melatonin can be so great and helpful if you're working on like going to bed earlier like setting a new bedtime just to kind of like help get you in that rhythm for a short period of time but i don't necessarily want to be taking melatonin every single night because i feel like my body's just naturally producing it now so i've been taking these gummies every night there's only four left this one is this one's their spiced pomegranate flavor and then this was actually a special i think like a holiday edition maybe i had such like a big stock of everything that i'm just not getting to them but they taste so good and i sleep so so soundly like these things knock me out in the best way but i wake up feeling so refreshed they did just recently come out with some sleep gummies that i ordered as well so i can't wait for those to get here but i'm gonna go ahead and take my cbd gummies do my five minute journal and read my book and then go to bed so i can wake up nice and early tomorrow so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see more vlog content comment down below let me know you guys are enjoying these day in the lives i've been trying to vlog a little bit more lately so just let me know if you guys are enjoying them and if you want to see more as always feel free to comment any video requests that you have as well but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys